So, uh, last stitch effort to come herping down on the eastern shore. Didn't want to because it was hot today. I've been striking out horribly with hiking. Found toads and skinks. <laughs> I flipped two pieces of tin so far and nothing. Flipped this one. Yep, so that guy tried to get away, but... Uh... This is a handsome hog nose. This isn't as good as the one I found a couple weeks ago. Um, but, I mean, still, look at that orange pattern. I did not expect to flip anything today. Especially a beautiful hog like this. Pretty sure this is a younger male. But, I mean... It's okay, it's okay. Stop, stop, stop. Well, at least I got a few good pictures before he played dead. I know it was going to happen. He was pretty fired up. So. Well. What are you going to do? I mean, hog nose today. I did not expect that. That's incredible. All right, so he came back to life rather quick. Oh, it's okay. Oh, and he's dead again. Ugh, I love these guys. So I don't know how this happened. I just flipped a racer and another hog nose. This one is a little bit more striking than the other one. I don't know what's happening today. Why am I flipping hog noses like this? That is incredible. I'm just letting him go. I got enough pictures of that last one. Why did I just flip hog noses back to back? Today is nuts. So it's pretty cool. It's a piece of cover that I haven't found anything under yet. I put it out this winter and uh, flipped it. Nice in shed racer sub-adult all fired up but I'll take it that's four snakes so far two hogs and two racers I can't believe I'm saying that two hogs but I love racers too just don't eat the hog noses all right so I flipped that racer and I came back to this piece of tin because I had let that really bright orange hog crawl out the back but he came back and we're not going to bother him this time Even though we technically lifted the cover and bothered him, but we're not going to handle him. He's just posing perfect. Incredible. What a day. Just going to lay this down really, here you go, really slowly. This was, what, our second piece of tin we flipped? Yeah. And I'm still a little bit shaky. This was under there. This gorgeous coastal plains milk snake. I mean, what an absolute stunner. This thing is fresh out of shed. I mean, what a way to start the day. I mean, I, I don't like saying day made here because then we won't find it. But like this is, what an amazing snake. This is my first coastal. Wow. Yeah. Beautiful. So we're just struggling to get pictures of this guy. He is being typical milk snake fashion and not sitting still. Turd. Just got the right spot. Yeah, I know. He just lunged at you. <laughs> All right, so we've taken enough pictures of this guy. Don't bite me again. Just let him. He has a hold of him again. Hey, let go. 
Tastes good. Come on. There you go. Awesome. What a way to start the day. So we eventually made it to our second spot of the day and found our second snake. Not as cool as a coastal milk snake, but nice little ring neck. I'll take it. Get back under there. Oh, we'll go that way. We'll be fine. All right, so flipped our third piece of tin. Nice racer under there. I'll take it. All right, not bad. This is our uh, second racer, fourth snake of the day. Just on this stretch, we had three snakes, so pretty cool. Look how bad this decays brown tore up my thumb. No, I'm just kidding. That's from the racers. <laughs> But, yeah, Dave just flipped this under this log. Real healthy looking brown snake. Awesome. Well, you get back under there, slug eater. Awesome. It's pretty cool. We flipped this little tin lid here that I've never found anything under. And found this handsome rat snake. After I just started, uh pissing and moaning that I never find rat snakes here. Ugh. Yeah. Right. Would you? <laughs> Man, they stink. Oh, this nah. is pretty cool. We just walked up on this little mud turtle. This is my first mud at this spot this year. I found stink pots, but yeah, yeah, right on cool. mud. Awesome, cute. All right, so me and Scott are out here cruising on this dirt road and almost missed it. It's my first rough green of the year. This is awesome. This is definitely the smallest rough green I have ever found, but that was pretty cool. Like there's my hand for comparison. This is a tiny baby rough green. That is awesome. What a beaut. So cute. I'm so we almost ran this guy over because he was hard to see. Nice. First 2024 rough green. And here in the mid-Atlantic, I'll take it. Alright, so just one more video of this guy before we uh start to hit the road. Make sure we assist him off the road too. But oh look at him doing that little head wobble. Oh, that is so cute. What a way to start the night. We probably only been cruising for like 15 minutes, so. Nice. Yeah, I get it. You're a little green twig. You're definitely not a snake. Too cool. So this is pretty cool. Not long after we cruised that rough green, got a red belly turtle right here in the road. Oh. It's gonna help her get off the road. Looks like she was heading this way, so yeah, stuff's out. All right. Now he has both his eyes. So we just cruised up a timber. That is awesome. That's a beauty. This is my first New Jersey timber. First coastal timber. So that's actually really cool. My flashlight ruining your video? No. Man, this is awesome. What a beautiful snake. Too cool. This is just so cool. This guy is curled up right off the dirt road. Just being calm. He hasn't rattled once. I mean... This is awesome. I'm just, I really wanted to find a timber in the coastal plain region of the Mid-Atlantic this year. And 
we just roll up on this beauty is right off the road here we think possibly sit in an ambush position waiting for like a chipmunk or a rat or something across the road oh, stunning all right grumpy pants see you later <laughs> He started rattling a little bit, but it's, hey, it's okay. And we're within a safe distance right here. I'm just pretty zoomed in. I you always would not be even... at least take to account they can strike two thirds their body length. Yep. Yeah. It's a snake that deserves a load of respect. But this one is absolutely beautiful, and we've gotten enough pictures. He's off the road, so we're going to let him be. You have a wonderful night, handsome prince. So this was pretty cool. Right after we found that timber, we ended up finding this really pretty eastern king snake crossing the road. I did a voiceover for this because we bumped into several people we knew, and so many people were talking while we were filming that it just made sense to just film and not say anything but this was awesome nice addition to everything else we found All right, this king snake move on we threw the corn tonight but i'm gonna lose awesome. my damn mind <laughs> <laughs> so this isn't funny anymore we've cruised a rough green a timber a Eastern king snake, and now a baby coastal plains milk snake. <laughs> Why we're not cruising anything common tonight, <laughs> and just stuff that's like very solid, I don't know. <laughs> so this is just crazy that we found this very tiny coastal plains milk snake. Finally got it to calm down for a little bit. I found my lifer coastal last week. And then a week later, I'm finding another one on this already amazing night where we found a rough green, a timber, and a king snake, too. Woo! Incredible. This is pretty cool. I'm about to do some cruising. And uh, it's still light out and kind of warm. And I just looking around, I don't even know how I noticed. There's a pretty good sized northern water snake right there and he's just basking in these under this bush he's probably about to start moving around but it's pretty cool nice so it's pretty cool I was just walking along this trail here hoping to see a rough green or something crossing but this is kind of just as good Let's see really pretty garter snake he's just a little one just out on the trail here absolutely beautiful pattern second snake of the night I'll take it nice so literally right after seeing that garter and after saying oh, it'll be cool to see a rough green on the trail Right there. I was going to film him on the ground, but I just didn't want to take the chance of getting him away. Getting uh, him getting away. This is my first rough green on the Delmarva Peninsula this year. Got my first of the year back in. Geez, I can't even talk right. Got my first of the year. A couple nights ago, but that was in New Jersey, but we're on the Delmarva Peninsula tonight, so pretty cool. That garter was a good omen. This one's bigger than the one we found in Jersey. It's pretty cool. It's a good looking one. I will take it. It's my first rough green at this spot. And I've always said when I was like walking along this trail with my buddies and stuff like that, like I would always jinx it. I'd be like, oh, doesn't it seem like a good trail to find a rough green? And I did. Awesome. 
this was the target of the night so any shots of getting pictures of this guy on the ground now is just he's way too jazzed up so we're gonna take a few in-hand pictures and then let him go awesome <laughs> 